just arrived at the auction and I have my paperwork which I have pre-filled in much to Roy's absolute delight because he gets really cross at me trying to scribble in the car and making a mess of it um, I had to tag one of the lambs because it had pulled the tag out but yeah apart from that everything is going swimmingly swimmingly that was an okay sign swimmingly in the deepest depths of that wagon there is a man called David crawling around on his knees Working so hard. Huh? Working so hard. Who's working at? There's actual afterbirth on my hand. Hey, teams back together. Doing them little office and thingy out. So lambing is very much nearly over. To be honest, there's only about maybe 35 sheep left to lamb. Um, it will come to an abrupt end the lambing content i know people on youtube don't necessarily like it my videos have been bombing every time i post a sheep they do they always have done since the beginning it just is your audience isn't it um then it turns to go around the field and making sure these guys are okay you can see them up there and they're also up there so i'll have a wander around this is looking so wish so pleased someone messaged me last night on instagram i'm really sorry i would remember your name if i looked but i haven't um saying if you pressure wash the dust it doesn't necessarily come off but it just comes off with a microfiber cloth so i need to get on and wipe all of the dust off with a microfiber cloth so that obviously it doesn't look like it's got tiger stripes down it i am so impressed with this so this is Eternit, so the roof sheet, that stuff that's on the roof. Eternit, uh, compressed concrete fiberboard. Uh, I think it's called Farm Tech cladding. There you go. That's what it is. Someone's going to tell me I've said that wrong, but yeah, essentially that is black roof sheet with like a paint on it. It's great. It is great. I am so impressed with how it looks. I keep having it in my head. So I'm going to put an image up that I want like a logo and like lay this stenciled across the top with lights shining down. I can just see it now. I can, not that we're like a farm shop or anything, but we're not in the area for it. But yeah, I can just see it. So where are we up to? Right. Cladding's done there. That's done there. It just needs washing off. Towers coming. Towers coming um, at the end of the week, I think. So that'll be interesting to get that stuck up. And then it's getting all the auger systems in and stuff. We now have concreted. Obviously, Harris had to walk across it and Wynn's been walking across it this morning. But yeah, concreted tank room. So you can see all of the, the different inlet, outlet, all sorts. The communication cable is here through that. And I think that one's electricity. So they're very separate. They're at separate. Uh, they go underneath the floor separately because apparently they can interfere with each other. So we have lots of different outlets. Can I stand on this now? Too late. She's only done it. We have drains in here, which is obviously going to be um, where the guy, you know, the driver will come in here and put his uh, pipe in. Maybe spill a little bit of milk. Who knows? There's a tap there ready to wash this down into the drain that goes underneath. Superb, superb. And then next door, we'll go this way. Next door, we have doors and windows are coming this week, which is wonderful. Appleby windows and doors, if anyone was wondering, it's just very, very local to us. In here, we've got uh, water bowsers. Um, we've got volume wash. Uh, what have we got? Um, sink and stuff for um, people to wash their hands in for tank drivers, etc., or workmen in any way. We've got a staircase being built that goes up here and then the balconies stay in, obviously my little balcony. And then above here on the other side of there is the office. Quick, uh, we'll do an Ollie quiz question for the day. Do you think we should paint the steels black or leave them grey? What do you think? 
I'm all for going on cramp and buying some black paint and painting in black. But Roy said, you know, uh, let's just live with it for a little bit and see what it looks like. I'm thinking black. I'm thinking black. Everything black, as black as my heart. There's nowhere that that cat can't get to. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're not getting on there. So why did we opt to have the end clad instead of castle boarded, Yorkshire boarded, whatever you want to call it? Farm boarding, something, something. There'll be a word for it. Well, we haven't looked at an awful lot of systems in person, but we've looked at an awful lot online. Now, one of the systems we have seen, which is local to us, has major problems with the castle boarding at the end with the gaps in. At a certain time in the afternoon, when the cows are wanting to wander up this way, it's shining through. This is, this is a God, like, gospel truth story. The, the light shines through, hits the cows in the face. They don't like it and they go off the milk. They don't go to the robots. How crazy is that? So this is one of the reasons. Not only was it a nod to the black barn, which was here before, insert picture here. Um, it was, it was very well thought out to the point that we didn't want anything to stop the cows coming. That concrete panel is actually being removed because it doesn't fit and it's infuriating. Can you see? Roy can't cope. Like, actually can't cope. But yeah, that is one of the reasons. The sun literally sits over there all afternoon. Uh, later into summer, it moves that way. But yeah, it literally sits over there, sets over there. And we just didn't want it to st cause any problems in the future. So that is one of the reasons why we went for black cladding. And the fact that there was a little black barn here. And we liked that little nod to the past. Water troughs have all arrived. All from mayo and condon so they all came from condon through mayo mattresses and yeah we've gone for these ones they are not tip over troughs we don't like the tip over troughs they're just uh, we have one and to be honest it's just like a pointless exercise for us and it just makes a mess on the floor and um, so yeah we've gone for it. quite nice they're not too deep are they they're all right i would have maybe gone for slightly shallower but never mind never mind and the hot water from the like the plate cooler and stuff that is going to fill troughs and then when they are full it's going to go and overflow away so that's one thing because apparently cows like hot water so when they come out of the robots there's going to be troughs here here and here and then they're going to enjoy drinking that nice hot water house what did we decide this was a bit of a oh what are we doing so there's going to be a gate here and also these here, we have not decided on bifolding doors, insert video here um, of Dean Dag's doors, because we thought they were absolutely wonderful and they would have worked really well and they would have been able to fold back onto, because that's going to be a brick wall, they're going to fold back onto that wall, because half the year they're going to be closed when it's winter and the cows aren't going outside, it is going to be closed, the grazeway is going to be here sort of thing, um, so it was just deciding what, or do we go for roller doors? and they could have roller doors but then again in winter are they just going to really piece you off because they do like tch, 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 rattle don't they we have one on the workshop and it is just a bit it does rattle so here what have we gone for so that's solid obviously here is going to be a gate now we've put that in in case anything ever dies uh, we need to get in with a tractor we can obviously drive through here. This is a sort of handling area. There's going to be a crush, uh, foot trimming, that kind of thing. We'll be able to send cows off from the robots into the back area for anything that they might need done. This here is a bank of cubicles. You can see here, this is a bank of cubicles. And this is for sick cows, um, anything that needs it to fit. It's just an, a, another area, do you know what I mean? Fresher calf heifers that are a pain in the ass to put on the robots. Then you don't chase them around the shed. So yeah, it's another bank of cubicles and it's just back of house. Now, loads of people have said to us, don't do this because you won't end up using it. But honestly, we did think about not doing it, but we'd already ordered the cubicles. We'd already ordered the mattresses. We'd already ordered the net rails. And we thought, well, actually... It, the, if, if you know, push comes to shove and something's really desperate, you can straw this area. But Roy's idea was he wanted to keep straw away from the shed completely. We don't really want any straw. Not just for the 
um, these of it, it's more you don't want it going down your slats. So then this is obviously just a walk around. And then over here, they'll obviously be able to feed on the feed star, which will go straight down here on this, like you can see the concrete that sticks over the edge. So that will run all the way down there. Not sure about what the floor needs to be, whether it needs to be polished or what, I don't know. That's something to look at because it's just popped into my head now. And then obviously there's going to be gates here. This is our, do you remember our um, reconditioned gate posts that we were talking about that we were reusing? This is it. But yeah, there's going to be gates so that you can let cows out of here again if you need to. Down here, obviously a little bit messy as she sinks in mud and clay. This here is going to have, this is a hell of a pipe, that God, it's heavy. This is gonna have um, an end on that will connect to your tanker and we will be able to blow out the channels if needs be. So this goes into the bottom of the channel and it we can blow it out if we need to or jet water through it that kind of thing that is the size of the uh, volume wash the size of the volume wash um alcazine it's absolutely look at the size of it it's huge Not with me roy wants me roy wants me oh he's still shouting what do you want what do you want it's the internet what do you want So land prices came back, they were an absolute staggering trade. They were, I think they averaged 149 quid, which is absolutely amazing. So super glad that we sent them yesterday, even though they were, I don't know, we were kind of holding them back to see if we could get them a little bit heavier. But do you know what? It worked out for the best, didn't it? Like Roy just said, they were not the nicest lambs that we've had. Like I just didn't really want to video them. They weren't your pride and joy. Do you know what I mean? Like we left them as tops last year. I didn't castrate. How sweet is this little lamb that was born this morning? Adorable, adorable. Don't get me wrong, they are so sweet, but they're definitely more to keep an eye on than anything, you know, mule, clean, that kind of thing. And there's one of them, there's one of them. So, before I was talking about last year, I had got it into my head that I didn't need to castrate anything. Um, I always, when we had our bulls, we were well, obviously calving. We never castrated bulls. We never ran bullocks unless they were dairy bred and we bought them in. We always ran bulls and we ran them separately to the heifers, obviously. And for some reason, first year lambing, I castrated them. Um, I put rubber rings on the balls. And then second year, I think I did. Third year, I decided... Um, why am I castrating them? Surely they'll grow more if they're left as tops. You know? She started laughing. Surely they'll grow better if they're just left with the balls at them. So I kept everything whole. Um, and actually it kind of, the early ones that grew massive got away, which was fine. But then you were left with a load of sort of mediocre ones. And all they seemed to do was writhe around after each other because like the testosterone's flowing and yeah i didn't see we didn't get rid of all the lambs sooner like i thought we were gonna i thought we were gonna be shot of them all a lot sooner anyway we've just sold some yesterday so that shows you how wrong i was so this year i have been uh rubber ringing everything again which to be fair is standard practice it's what everyone does i don't know why i thought that you know i could be any different or no better do you know what i mean so yeah Literally, um, we're really getting down to it with sheep now. There's not a right lot left to do. And then we're full steam ahead on the building. Cows are coming early May. I've got a load of um, appointments to um, fill um, where you can come with me, which I've made it so that it was in the middle of lambing and um, cows come in, which is good. And then, you know, once them cows are here for the foreseeable, I will not be going anywhere. Uh, and I don't think... If you don't like cow content or dairy content, well, you're kind of screwed, to be fair. I know that a lot of people don't like sheep content. It's not the comfiest little thing you've ever seen. How sweet. You when your friends you come. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola, what good are these? 
You couldn't get through a gateway. <laughs> she just tried to go on a farm in them. <laughs> Yeah, full credit, yeah. But it's not full credit, it's um, I can't. It's all full credit, but it's um, oh, I'm trying to remember the back. I can't do it. Look at these. How old is she now? One, nearly two. Your one year old has bigger wellies than you. <laughs> <laughs> so just doing nighttime checks. Making sure everybody's up and about. Looking happy. One hanging over the gate, but it's absolutely fine. believe we have a little issue and um, just been watching lamb cam and i could see this sheep here has had a little black lamb and i thought oh lovely she's had a little black lamb and then i also noticed when i zoomed around there's another tiny black lamb over here on its own come here you, you don't belong there you belong how are you getting out like how are you getting out this is crazy. So ideally I want to grab that and I want her to follow me. It's a funny little thing, isn't it? Oh there. Oh, oh, oh. Steadiness. There's both your lambs. I'm gonna make a grab for them and then I'm gonna take them over somewhere else and then put her in a pen with them. Why go past the pen? Just go in the pen. Go in the pen. Oh God, that does not look safe around water. Tell you what, I'll just have this out, I think. Oh, <laughs> you are a liability. You can tell already. What is this? <laughs> Come here. Right, upright. Oh, there. That's <laughs> a crazy little lamb. <laughs> this jumper's painful, it keeps falling down. <laughs> Note to self do not wear this jumper for lambing. <clears throat> regain, your, regain your composure. So I'm just checking the remaining triplet and quad and look who I've just spotted. It's teeny tiny, teeny teeny tiny baby 25. Hello sweet pea. Hi teeny teeny tiny baby 25. Are you doing well? Hey, are you doing well? So I've just noticed, I think it's like the half one quarter two, something like that. Um, just had a bit of a check on lamb cam. I like to talk as I go into the shed, which sounds ridiculous, but it just means that um, the sheep don't go and scatter everywhere as I make them. Oh, hello. So we've actually got about three sheep on Lammy. I was only out here an hour ago, I showed you, but yeah, here we go. Sorry I just had a dog that wasn't mine. Surely not, surely not. Okay, so we have these guys here and then we also have her here. That's who I was watching. Um, and then miss these guys because I was watching her. She's got some serious balloons. Look at the state of that. I 
think it is just. So this thing here I have on my radar. I have a feeling it's gonna be a smash and grab situation. Let's not eyeball her. Let's not eyeball her. Look away, people, look away. So that's actually Dobby. Now you won't remember Dobby, I don't think. It was more of a TikTok era thing. Um, Dobby went, she had a reaction and she went bold. Um, <laughs> highly embarrassing for Dobby. But yeah, she went completely bold and she had to stay in the stable for a whole summer. We couldn't turn her out because she'd get sunburnt. So Dobby's pretty tame. She's very naughty, but she's also very tiny. Um, and that's who I was watching. She's been on a little while. So I'll kick this one out here who hasn't had a lamb, who I thought was going to lamb. I always get these things wrong and I'll put her in. Must get fitter. Must get fitter. Let's just be having it. Let's just be having it. Not a sharp head. What kind of lamb has a sharp head? Let's see if we find out. God, I always took the out of lambing ropes. Uh, what's the point in them? What the hell? It's got the horns. How oh, cheap are you? What a devil lamb coming out. Hello. God for that. About it. You cough. 
that means we're, that's a signed, done deal contract. You guys are happy, aren't you? <laughs> you look a little bit shell shocked. You had two, where are they? Oh, there they are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Apologies, sorry. Right, it's definitely time to go now. It's time to go inside. It's like this time, the right time to eat an Easter egg because I'm thinking it's like, hello, where's your mouth that you got? 